Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. Today we're going to talk about how Traeger Grills grew the brand that they did. Uh, so here Traeger Grills, Grills is a, I don't know, 50-year-old company. I have to look up the article again, but they're uh, they're an older company. Make really good, solid grills, right? So you have, uh, what are their competitors? Charbroil. Um, you go to Home Depot and they got Next Grill. Um, Weber, huge in the space. And you have Traeger Grills. Traeger came out of nowhere. And so the, the story goes something like, here's this brand, 50-year-old brand that you know, had moderate success, really great quality product. And a, uh, an investor comes in and buys the company. I don't exactly know how long ago it is, but you can look it up. And so what he did is uh, he focused on brand. And instead of going and taking this great product and then trying to find distribution and trying to go sell this through retail outlets, uh, he focused on attaching Traeger grills to the lifestyle that a certain type of person wants. So they focused on hunting. They focused on outdoors. They focused on quality. They focused on you know American sort of lifestyle, that outdoors, gritty, you know, f- campfire, uh, weathering the storm sort of uh, sort of profile, uh, hunting, you know, they they went after that sort of demographic, and what they did is they worked with influencers. Joe Rogan promotes Traeger Grills. Uh, several hunting influencers promote Traeger Grills. Uh, several people in the uh, NASCAR space uh, and places that you would expect to see a really good quality outdoor grill. Somebody who loves barbecuing. Several people in the barbecuing space represent Traeger Grills or ambassadors for Traeger Grills. And the reason why I'm focusing on this story is that it's a perfect example about of how you can go about trying to grow a company. And so I just used this example. A friend of mine called me and talked about a, a, an e-commerce company that he was thinking about buying or a company he was thinking about buying and how he should go about maybe growing the brand or how do they grow into this e-commerce space. And I use the example of Traeger Grills as one of the best examples of how you can take a hard product, a hard goods product, an expensive product, a big, heavy, solid product. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's a 50 pound product minimum that you have to ship. And I talked to him about, you know, multiple ways you could go about it. Number one, you could buy the company and you could figure out what other sources, what, what other channels would help you with distribution. So you could go to a distributor who's maybe going to get you into, if we're talking about Traeger Grills, into a Home Depot, into a Lowe's, into a Bass Pro Shops, you know, wherever it might be, right? But then you have to think about margins. So the distributor is going to take, want to want a discount and so that they can collect their profit off of selling it to the retail chain and the retail chain is going to want their profit so they can sell it uh, to the end consumer. Um, and the same thing goes for if you automatically went for distribution on Amazon off the bat. And that that's just distribution. That's just getting the product out there. But nobody has any idea what your product is. And so I love what Traeger Grills did because they focused so heavily on brand and they worked with influencers who had already had these large audiences of people that trust them. And those influencers said, Traeger Grills are better than the competition. They said that in many different ways, through videos and text and pictures. They focused on high quality content and pictures of what it meant to have a Traeger grill in your life. And to me, what it means to own a Traeger grill now, it's a, it has become a status symbol. It has become a symbol of quality. And it's so it's sort of like why we wear clothes. I wore this yellow check shirt because I look I think I look damn good in it. Number one, number two, it's comfortable. It fits me great, and it actually like makes me look pretty fit, right? So it it accentuates, you know, what I want to show the world. I wanna I want to project being a healthy, professional, kind, empathetic person, a good, healthy person. So that's that's why I wore this shirt. <laughs> I'm getting super psychology on you all now, but. The reason why somebody would buy a Traeger grill is they want to feel like they are eating a really high quality piece of meat grilled on there. They want to feel like they they have this quality piece of uh, it's an outdoor appliance 
but it's sort of a stable, a staple that's on their patio. Uh, they want to feel like when somebody comes over, it's a special occasion to open up the Traeger grill. And that bleeds into every other aspect of their life. Uh, if they're in the hunting community, you know, the Traeger grill is maybe where you, after you go and you, you hunt and, 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 uh, you know, you get your kill and you bring it back and you cook it on the grill. Like there's a whole feeling that goes along with it. So for those of you out there, uh, I want to try to bring you some value here. A couple things to remember. The way you promote a brand comes down to budget or networking and connections, right? So if you already have an amazing amount of connections, let's say in a particular industry, it's going to be much easier for you to get good PR, connect with influencers, and get some momentum off of uh, your, uh, your product that you're trying to promote. If you don't have the connections, you don't have the audience, then you're starting from scratch, you're going to have to spend a lot more money or uh, infuse a lot more effort into getting that brand off the ground. So you're going to spend a lot more on ads, top of funnel ads. You're going to spend a lot more uh, time trying to work with influencers and, and building trust and showing them that you're a good product. But the best use of your resources, aside from operations, aside from culture if you have a team. So aside from that, I'm just talking marketing here. But once you have the solid product, once you have the solid culture uh, and and you have the operations, you know, production, things like that, the best way you can go to market. I highly implore all of you to think about whatever budget you have, instead of spending that 50 grand or 100 grand or 250 grand on intricately building out a sales funnel with ads and email marketing and fully optimizing your website, spending it on SEO and all the tactical things. I highly suggest that if you have an amazing product, you spend your budget and you go work with the best influencer who you can possibly get and then backfill the minimum things, now I'm talking launching a brand, the minimum things that you need to facilitate, you need to have in place to facilitate a purchase. So hypothetically, that could be going out and working with an amazing influencer and then having them agree to promote your product, whatever it is, you know, your watch or, or whatever, and having them have one call to action. Visit this website and use my code, John Timmerman, uh, or whoever that is. And you basically have your website set up and influencers and nothing else. Even if you don't have retargeting set up, even if you don't have email marketing set up, which by the way, you should do if you can afford it. But if you can't, go find that influencer because they will be your top of funnel, they will be your middle funnel, and they will be your bottom funnel if you need them to be. Because everything... The, the, the success of your product relies on trust and they are your best shot at building trust if you don't have any. All the rest of the stuff can come when you make sales. Setting up your email marketing, setting up your uh, ads, your retargeting, you know, setting up those types of things can all come after you make those initial sales. But those initial sales will be much, much higher if you have a source of massive influence telling everybody you should really go buy this watch. Thanks everyone. That's the show. If you found this valuable, uh, if you're listening to this, please leave me a good review. Uh, leave me a review. It doesn't even have to be good because I want your feedback. Uh, if you're listening to this on an Apple Podcasts or Google Play, leave me a review. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button. We'll see you next time.